Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Philip. In today's video, we're diving into an exciting project that will help your approach into file store. Now, let me share a bit of backstory. In the process of creating my first 25 videos, I made a crucial mistake, deleting them after publishing. It seemed reasonable at the time, but looking back, it's clear I lost valuable content and I regret I no longer have those files, which has been a tough lesson in the importance of proper management and file storage. This brings us to setting up our very own storage unit, essentially creating a personal cloud. This solution not only allowed me to safely store my digital files, but also ensure I can access them anywhere in the world, essential for someone who's about to travel. After some research and considering my needs in mind, I recently purchased the DS223J. It's a fantastic piece of technology that's going to be our focus today. I'll walk you through why I chose it, how it fits into the workflow, and most importantly, how you can set it up on your own. Let's go over the step-by-step -step process of setting up DS223J from unboxing it and getting it online. I'll cover all you need to know to get your personal cloud up and running. Whether you're a content creator, are you traveling a lot, or you just want to secure an accessible place for your digital files, this guide is for you. I got the internal hard drive that I'm gonna put into the Synology. Originally, it was like this. You hold the left side, and then you just put your right hand and push forward and it'll lock and you just pull out like that. So that's how you open it up to install the internal drives. And that's what we're gonna do now. Basically you slide this hard drive in. So in this particular area, so there's another terminal underneath here. It has the same terminal. So now you can put a second one on top. I'm gonna show you guys that now. This is the second hard drive. You see this? This goes into this on the right side. You want it to face the same way. This is the back side with the label here. So I'm just making sure that this goes onto the tab right here on both sides. You want to rest it on top. I'm just going to try to get this in. So each side has these four screws. You have to enter the screws into these black holes. And another thing is when you're messing with products with like computer, your screwdriver, make sure it's not like the magnetic kind. The metal tip is not magnetic. Make sure it's all, it's all metal. Last screw. Make sure everything's tight. Voila, go to the other side. You kind of see how like I was holding the screw with one finger. So, cause the last thing you need is for the screw to drop in this hole. So once all eight screws are on, let's put back on the cover. See these, it goes into here. One, two, so you lay it on top like right here. It's like 80% where the fan is and then you can slide it. You cannot slide like here in the beginning. You got to slide right here where the fan starts, right where the fan is. Like I showed you earlier, make sure the top part is aligned, the bottom part is aligned and then you just slide it in. Now all three is already clicked and you're good. So now you just got to lock in the screws in the back. One, two. I think you gotta use these smaller ones. Okay, so what's next? We gotta hook up the ethernet port, power supply, hook it all up and we should be good to go. You just push this blue button here and it'll power it up. Now we need to find your storage unit on your network. So go to your browser, type in findsynology.com and then it will find the server on your network. Click connect, check off the box and press next. Press continue. Press install. Automatically download and press next. So your hard drive have no data, so it's okay to press continue. Click the checkbox and press continue. So now you're installing the disk station manager. Then it will restart in 10 minutes. Now that you have your disk management installed, press start. Give your device a name.
Type in an administrator account name and create a password. Check the box and press next. Click off the box that is recommended and press next. Next click create so you can access technology anywhere in the world. For security reasons, I would create an account by clicking continue with Google. Create a quick connect ID and click submit. Copy and paste the web browser link into a notepad. This link allows you to access your NAS system anywhere in the world by pasting it in a web browser. All these users are useful, but I will check them all and click submit. I highly recommend downloading Synology photos onto your desktop. They also have a mobile version now. That way when you take new photos on your phone, you're able to send it straight to your storage unit. Proceed with setting up your hard drive. Click on Create Now. Click on Start. Synology gives you a bunch of options for RAID. I will leave it on the default option, which is SHR. Then click on Next when you're ready. Select the two hard drives and click Next. Click on Perform and then click Next. Click on Max and then click Next. Leave this on default and then click Next. Click on Apply and then click OK. Close the window and then go to File Station Next. Click OK and give it a name. I'm going to name it Drive 1. Click on Next and I'm going to skip this Next. And I'm going to skip this and click on Next. Lastly, you can give users permission to access this folder or not. And then click on Apply. Don't worry, you can always change permissions later. If you ever need to, you can always create new users as well. And then adjust their permission later on. Go ahead and create users. Critical to create users to give them permission. That way some people can access all folders. Like for example, you're hiring a video editor. And you may have like your kids have access to it. So you want to set permission to access only a limited amount of folders. Once the password is created, confirm the password and click next. Click next. Click next. So here you can see that I'm allowing admin users to access all of the files. Then click on next. Then click on next. Press done. And that is it. Every time you want to access your storage unit, you can just Go to the link that you copy in your notepad. For example, is quickconnect.to slash your username. Having your own cloud storage is not just about having another place to store your files. It's about peace of mind, security, and the freedom to access your work or personal memory, no matter where you are in the world. As we prepare for Cambodia, I'm reassured knowing my files are safe and accessible. Thank you for watching. If you found this guide helpful, consider subscribing for more tips, tutorials, and my upcoming adventures in Cambodia. Safe travels and efficient storage to you all.